Well, the time has come. It's January, early February, and pass holder previews are starting, and you're like, man, I only have two hours before they kick us out. And my time slot. How can I possibly achieve everything in those two hours? Well, lucky for you, I've been in the land multiple times, including a team member preview where I also had two hours to uh, do everything. I'm not, I don't work there. I got invited. Team members were able to bring three guests. So I was actually able to go to the team member preview twice and invited twice. I went during a very busy time and a slow time. A slower time because late it was late night and in the morning and I'm going to tell you the best tips and tricks to get through your pass holder preview for Super Nintendo World starting January 29th through February 11th and how to maximize your full two hours without feeling like you didn't do much so let's get right into it all right so if, it, if you have the late night slot or anytime after you know in the afternoon evening it'll be busier because they don't fully kick you out at two hours you have wristbands and you can if you they may restrict access to things after your two hours is end have ended but they don't escort you out of the land you can hang out in the land as long as you like um you just may not be able to do much if you have a different color wristband but that increases the overall um you know crowd levels in the land because the interact interactivity stuff is still available to everyone and that's why I'm going to advise you to do that part last. But So that's why if you have the later times, but anytime, you should go in and go into Toads first. If you, I don't know matter what you're doing. Actually, scrap that. Step one, get a power band. You can buy a power band in the character shop outside the land. So I suggest you get there early, go to the character shop, and buy a power band, especially again if you have those later time slots, because there might be long lines to buy the power band at the vending machines. Sometimes, the, sometimes the vending machines break down. Then you have to buy them in the one-up store, um, and there's a long line for that because there's people buying regular merchandise as well as power bands. So get them in the character shop where they do sell them. Um, at least they were when I was there. Get the power band out of land before your even scheduled time slot so that that part is already done that's if you want a power band you don't have to get a power band but if you want to it's 40 bucks and i suggest you get it outside the land before your scheduled time so that way you don't have to waste time in line when you're inside the land in those precious two hours once you have your power band secured and you get in the land and you're two hours and you're like oh my gosh this reveal is amazing and you're like, wow, taking in the land, you should go right to Toad's Cafe and get your reservation. Again, especially if, the, if you have a later time slot in the afternoon or evening because the people are already be eating, they'll be doing reservations and they will lock you out. You will not be able to get a reservation after a certain, after your time period or even if your time period is coming to a close because there'll just be so many people eating in there. So you should go right to Toad's, get your reservation. That way it's locked and loaded as soon as you have your reservation, you they can't deny you. Uh, then you can do other stuff in the land and then come and eat at Toad's uh, whenever your time is called, which might be towards the end of your two hours. Waiting in line for the Toad's reservation could take some time, maybe 20 minutes or mo 20 or 30 minutes um, or much less. But there was a quite a long line to get a reservation at Toad's, which is why you should definitely do that. Then you want to head to Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart will have a long line, and again, they could restrict you, especially if your time is coming to a close. Let's say it's an 80-minute line, and there's only 20 minutes left of your two-hour period. They might not let you in your colored wristband in because it's an 80-minute line. And for that, you should go right into Mario Kart because, it, again, if you have the later time slots, it could be longer. It was about an 80-minute line when I went from the 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. time slot for the team member preview, but at the 9 a.m., to 11 a.m. time slot it was a 40 minute line so it wasn't too bad at all and actually it was much less than 40 minutes um the line is constantly moving it actually seems to be about half the time so 80 minutes could be about 40 minutes but if the ride breaks down or if there's just a lot of people in line then it could actually be an actual hour and 20 minutes so just be mindful of that if it's a shorter time you can go on twice and there's also a single rider option if you don't mind your fam being split from your party Single rider is open, so you can save a lot of time by just going to the single, single rider line, which had absolutely no one, like not a single person in it. Both times I went on the ride, or the team member previews, even during the soft open, when the single rider was open, 
no one was no one was in it either because they don't know it's there. It's kind of hard to see the sign. It's the very first right hand very first right hand uh, corner. When you in the queue, you'll see a single red line. It's right by the test seat, and people may not know it's open or closed, or no, may not want to do it. And save a lot of time by going single rider if that's what you want. But if you don't want to go single rider and you want to ride it with your whole family, then just be mindful it could be a long wait. So definitely do that second after you get your reservation from Totes. All right, so you've ridden Mario Kart and you're like, oh my goodness, now I bought this power band, which you can hope you hopefully you've synced on the Mario Kart vehicle and tried your score. Now it's time to play all the games. You can play as many games as you want. They may wish, again, if your time is coming close, they may restrict you going into the games if you're color, by your color wristband. But even if they do do that, you can still go around and punch all the blocks and go upstairs and check out the binoculars and do all, all inter interactive stuff with your power band for as long as you want. I mean, they may, there may be a time where they say, all right, get out. But um, as far as now, they didn't seem to be doing that. And the meet and greets as well. Uh, they do have lines, so they may again restrict you based on your wristband color. Anything with a line, you may want to again do first because anything you have to show a wristband for, you want to, I'd say, do first just in case they restrict you after if your two hours does run up and you're still in the land. All the interactive stuff that are not games like punching the blocks and everything, I'd say that for absolutely last because that doesn't again doesn't require getting in line. I do all the games, definitely get, do Bowser's Challenge, or Bowser's Junior Boss Battle, because that is such a fun game. Um, so definitely do the games next, and then do the interactivity last. During the time you get off Mario Kart and the games and all that, you'll obviously be uh, get called in for your Toads at reservations, so you want to go obviously make time to eat and do all that. And then just do as much as you can and buy if you do all that. So let's recap it one more time. You start off with getting the power band outside the land of the character shop. So you don't have to wait in line for that. Then you go get your reservation for Toads, which could be a little bit of a line. Then you do Mario Kart, which um, you either wait in line or do single rider, depending on the if you want to be at their party and the length of the standby queue. Then you want to play all the games and do the meet and greets. And then you want to just go around land, just collect coins, and look through the binoculars, all, everything that does not have a line. Of course, eat at your toad's, uh, get your toad's reservation, and you know that's gonna be called. And you want to eat there. If you do all that, you should be able to fit all that efficiently. Everything again, everything with a line. In the two-hour mark, especially if you use that single rider option when Mario Kart has a long line, and if it's open. But yeah, that should be a pretty efficient way to get everything done in that two-hour pass order preview. And if you if you your pass order obviously, so you you might live close, so you can just come back and do anything you didn't do after February 17th. But you should get the majority, it's at least 90 to potentially 100% of the land done um, if you follow step by step what I just said in those two hours. But let me know how it goes. Um, definitely come back to this video if you watched it, if you took the advice. Let me know how it went for you during the pass order preview. I'll be there on the 29th this Sunday, uh, the 29th at 10 a.m. And uh, I'll be trying it that with my friend who's never been in the land. So I'll be doing these steps, see if we can get everything done. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this plan. If this video was helpful for you, stay tuned for a full Nintendo Tips and Tricks video that will release on Thursday, February 16th. Then a whole Universal Studios Hollywood Tips and Tricks video, How to Navigate the Whole Park with Nintendo Open later on next month. If you like this video, press this thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates and tips and tricks videos, and of course, more Nintendo coverage. And as always, have a fantastic day.